Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, and I'm coming back at you with another Grind My Gears. Uh, I'm having mailbox woes. Um, now, this is Tuesday the 30th, okay? I was waiting for a shipment, which I just got in today, which actually, I now I have a 12-inch concrete drill bit for my hammer drill. I was planning on drilling down 12 inches and I was planning on drilling around in a circle around the post and while I was getting ready to do that someone from the street department pulled up and we had a discussion uh, apparently he came out here specifically for me he had already looked at what I'm showing on the screen and he said that this was a horrible way to put um, a mailbox into the sidewalk, which I agree. And so we were on the same page. And he said what he's going to do is put a sleeve down in there. And that way uh, I can remove the mailbox without having to break the concrete. Smart should be the same thing. Uh, I, he wanted to see my mailbox post. I showed him my metal post, which you can't see on the back. It's just off camera right there. And and it's actually a two-piece uh, post. There is the piece that goes into the ground, which sticks up a little bit, and then the top piece, which screws down onto it. So if you concrete the bottom piece in, I can swap the top piece out at, at will, willy-nilly, right? And so... Uh, well, you know, I probably would have to buy the exact same brand of mailbox post or work something out, but that's perfectly fine. I'm okay with that because this mailbox post should last a lifetime. So if, and, and he said that he's going to cut this out possibly tomorrow, maybe the next day, he's going to cut it out. Uh, because his team that does the cutting and removing is not the same team that lays the concrete. So he said it might be the next day. It might be Thursday. Um, I guess Thursday is what? The first? Okay, so things are looking up. So he's going to send a team out tomorrow to remove this post. And, he, and then I told him that this post was too close to the curb. Um, can you see my hand on the screen? Okay, you can. Uh, with the mailbox st sticking out from the back of the post, I measured, it sticks out 24 inches. So it's like way out here, right? And the curb is right here, and it sticks out into the street. Uh, so what I'm asking him to do is to back it up to right about there, and that way it'll the mailbox will only stick out to about there, which is the bottom of the curb, which I think is reasonable. Uh, my wife is under the impression that we should turn it sideways. Uh, that way it won't be out in the street, but I don't want to do that because the post would have to be a lot closer to the road with a sideways setup. I would prefer it backed up to about there, and then that would be fine. Right, and so he's supposed to be over tomorrow, and I am ready. I'm going to be excited to talk to him. Um, I'm not going to, I mean, if I can, I'm going to film their work, maybe a little bit here and there, and I'll keep you updated. But, but uh, things are looking up. I, I appreciate the street department after a month finally coming out, and, and, and uh, he actually is from the street department. And he seemed like a nice guy. He uh, said that he had an issue like this on another road, Lafayette, I think is what he said. And uh, they had pretty much the same issue, which I can see where this might be a problem. Because the contractor that they, the street department hired to put this in... Uh, I'm not going to say took shortcuts because this is, was it did look really good, but it was 
not a good way to do it, in my opinion. All right, so that's all I wanted. This was just a quick flash announcement. I just want to let everybody know where I'm at. Expect another video in the or day or two and see how we progress with this mailbox. Um, I'm not going to say disaster. Mailbox fiasco. All right. I'll catch you next one.